Lane from Notable Piano Lessons. Today we're going to learn a tutorial on Scarborough Fair for beginning piano students. And this song just has four chords, so we're going to learn those four chords. First I just want to play a little bit of this to kind of uh, let you hear how it can sound. So I just kind of played the melody line with the piano, but you can sing that part. So the first chord that we're going to learn in this is the E minor. So if you'll notice on E minor, you play your thumb with E, and then you skip two keys, or you count up, you just go one, two, three, and that will leave you two keys that you skipped. And then you'll skip three keys on top, one, two, three. So if you count up one, two, three, four, you'll skip those three keys. So remember you skip two keys and skip on the bottom and skip three keys on top. So here's E minor. And then the next chord we need to learn is D. So we just take our thumb down one key and move our hand kind of like a claw. Okay, so the thing with D, it's a major chord. So we put our thumb on D. And major chords are just the opposite. You skip three keys on the bottom. So we're going to count up four. One, two, three, four. And you skip two on the top. One, two. So we count up one, two, three. And that will leave us with a D major chord. And then we have G. So we put our thumb on G. It's G, B, and D. You just follow that same rule. Skip three keys, skip two keys. And then we have a A, it's our last chord that we're learning. So we're just going to move our thumb up from G to A. And this will be, let's just count up from A. We go one, two, three, four. That leaves us with three keys that we've skipped, and we count up one, two, three, and that leaves us with two keys that we've skipped. That's an A major chord. So there's just one minor chord. There's E minor, D major, G major, and A major. Okay, so that's everything for our first lesson on uh, Scarborough Fair. I'm just gonna sing through it a little bit. I am not a vocalist, so bear with me, and hopefully you can learn this and sing it yourself. So I'm going to start down lower because um, my voice isn't super high, so um, starts on E. I'm just going to block out the chords now. Just hold them for approximately like three counts each. Some of them you'll hold a little bit longer. So we go. Uh, You just move down to D, Scarborough, and back to E. Fair. Okay, let's do that one more time. Um, let's just practice going E, D, and back to E. You might want to do that, start, pause the video and do that several times. You get really comfortable with that. Let's do that one more time. Are you? to Scarborough Fair, two, three, hold, two, three. And the next part, you move your thumb like a claw, you just move your hand out like a claw, 
up to G and you have G, B and D in our G chord and it's going to be parsley and then go to E minor, sage, rose, then to A, Mary and time. So I would practice just going G, E, A, E. I would do that several times before I moved on. Okay, and then we're going to, um, we're going to still, if you don't see a change in the chord, then you just stay on the same one. So on Remember Me, it's still on E minor. Remember, and then G chord. Me to one who lives, and to D chord. There. Let's do that again. So let's go back to E minor. Remember, and then G. Me to one who lives there. And that's our D chord. I do that over and over. And then the last part of the song, you go back to E minor. He once was D, a true love of. And then back to E minor. Let's do that one more time. He, E minor, once D, a true love of mine. Okay, so I would challenge you to practice that before you go on to anything. That's a lot to learn if you're just a beginner. But it shows you how you can play, actually play a really nice song and or actually accompany someone. And in our next lesson that follows this, we'll add a left hand part. So stay tuned for that.